and you folks that are standing before me right now are a testament Thank to you. a Thank you. career Thank that many people can dream of. Look at all these wonderful people. I gotta thank a few people that you don't know. Uh, Catherine C. Murphy and Ada Brown are gave me my first job at Cave Ann in 1970, March 1st, 1970. <laughs> they believed in me. After they sold Cave Ann, a guy named Howard Sloboden came in and he taught me about the blues. And he brought blues records in. And that's when I found out Led Zeppelin didn't really write those blues songs. <laughs> thank you, Howard Sloboden, Dr. Clayton. Michael McManus at the Paramount Theater. Michael believed in me. I worked mornings on K-Van and I ran the stage at the Paramount until midnight and then I went and did it again the next day. I was 20 years old. Those were the days, huh? Rock on, B.A. Right Iris and Marty, Iris Harrison over at KGON. She is my closest thing to a sister. Marty Party, who they uh, just retired to. I love them both. Uh, Dennis Constantine, who uh, who brought me back to Kink 12 years ago, believed in me. Uh, my current team, uh, I got to say hello to them first. Greg from Sequel is right behind me here. I managed this guy, and uh, uh, I was so glad to. I, I have I had. I'm going to write the book. I'm going to write the book about the road crew. Right on. <laughs> I'm sitting here with so so many. So many friends. Uh, Steve Pringle is going to take it over. I'm going to hand him the keys here in a moment. I really don't have any keys. Fake keys. But I want you to support this man. I've been been tutoring him for 20 years, and if he messes up. I want you to call me. All right. That's what he calls it. Dave and Sheila. Dave Scott and I have known each other forever. Sheila, I just met her the last 12 years. Wonderful people. Brad Dalbier, We go way back. No more stories there. Anessa, Anessa is a sweetheart. She has done so much for me for this retirement. Jared back at the station pushing the buttons. He's been around the clock a little bit. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him some more work. And he actually works for my internet jaw company. Jared, you're you're a great guy. Jason, uh, also John, Mike Everhart, who was an engineer at KG. Actually, I met him when he was was a, uh, a receptionist at KGON and became yep. the chief engineer. And, uh, he would take a bullet for me, believe me. Mike Turner, uh, who's back into it. David Flack, who's done so much here at this event here today. Yeah. Bill Ashington's over there. Who have I forgot? Robin Country Banks Cousin is right Dick there. Sheets. Robin Banks. Oh, oh, mustn't forget uh, our leader here, Chris Mays. Chris Mays leads this radio station. She got it back on track. And uh, I tell you, Kink was in trouble a while ago, and it's not any longer. So, yeah, and because of you, thanks for listening, too. And, and, all, and, all, to. and all the blues artists that I played before, I love playing the local blues. I love these guys. And that's why I did all local blues tonight, because I truly believe that this has been, a, a, you, know, a, you know, the seed to the Waterfront Blues Festival. The yeah. local blues scene yeah. has made it what it is today, 25 years later. You should all be proud Woo! of being part of this. And keep supporting the Waterfront Blues Festival. I, I didn't want to cry during yeah! this, but, you know... And finally, I want you to, my wife right here, Luanda, is Aww. standing behind me. Unbelievable amount of time. And this was a hard decision for me to say goodbye to everybody. So Jared, hit it. Right on, Jared. You rock, B.A. Yeah. Yeah. That's all B.A. has got to say for today. I love you all. And keep supporting the blues. Until then, see ya. Goodbye, everybody.